In this video, we're going to take a look at how to find the percent within intervals and percentiles when you're working with normal distributions. It's really important because these problems only work when you're talking about normal distribution, and that's when you have a nice bell curve. That's what this is called. And that's when you have a bell curve, all these percents work, right? And they're always going to be true. And so what you have is your mu here, which is the mean, and then you have the one, two, and threes, and what that means, that's your standard deviation above or below that mean. So you do need to know what your mean is, and you have to know what the standard deviation is to figure out where all these values are. Once you have that, these percentages are always true, no matter what your data set um, is or what it, where it comes from. If it's a normal distribution, these are true, and that's kind of a cool thing about statistics. So when you're looking to try to find out percent uh, within an interval, all you have to do is add up the percents within those values. And what I mean by those values is like, where are those values with your standard deviations? If you're working with a percentile problem, you just add up all the percents that are less than that value, because that's what a percentile is. Um, where, what percent is it at or more? So we'll look at a couple examples here, and we'll start with the fact that you have a mean of 7.2 and a standard deviation of 2.4. So uh, if that's the case, then that means that you know what all these values are on your bell curve. And so there's a 7.2 right there where the mean is. And then you're going to add 2.4 as you go up. So this will be 9.6. Add 2.4 again, and this will be a 12. Add 2.4 again, and you can be at a 14.4. And then you're going to subtract uh, 2.4. And so this is actually at 4.8. That's one standard deviation below. This is at 2.4, one standard deviation below, and this is at zero. Now we don't know uh, what this data is coming from, uh, so it's possible that there can be values less than zero. Uh, you can go above three standard deviations, so technically four standard deviations would be at 16.8, um, and then you could go down to a negative 2.4 if you wanted to, um, and so that's pretty darn rare, as you can see with those percentages. You know, 99.7% of all data is within three standard deviations, uh, but it's possible that you could be out there. But um, what you do now is you take a look at your examples. And so our, our first example says, okay, so what's the percentile at 4.8? So here's 4.8, that is one standard deviation below. Percentile, you add up all the percents which are less. So you add up all of these three percents because that's what percentile means. So you, that would be a 15th percentile. And then for number two, percent between 4.8 and 12. Okay, well here's 4.8 again, 12 is up here. So we go in one standard deviation below or two standard deviations above. But all you're gonna do is just add up all of these percents that are between those values. And when you do that, that actually adds up to 81.5%, 81.5%. Right, and so um, that's quite a bit of the data points, but that's what it adds up to. We can look at a couple more examples here. Uh, we have the percentile at 14.4. So here's 14.4, that is all the way three standard deviations above the mean. Right? So that's pretty high, so you can see all, all of this data is below 14.4, so this is gonna be a very big number. So you could add up all of these percents, because those are all below 14.4, or you could do it a little bit faster and say, well, um, I only have 1% which is above, 1% uh, value, I should say, above. And so all these have to add up to 100, so you just do uh, 100 minus 0.15, so it would be 99.85 percentile. Um, and that's pretty high. How about the percent between 7.2? Okay, well, that's the mean, that's the middle, and 14.4. So you're going to say, all right, here's this value, here's 14.4, so you're going to add up all of those percents, and if you did that, you'd get 49.85%. So 49.85% of the data points will be between these two. We'll look at two last examples here. And so we have the percentile at 7.2. Oh, well, 7.2, that's right there in the middle percentile in the middle, so that's gotta be 50%, right? So that's the 50 percentile, and if you added all those up, it's what you would get. And finally, the percent more than 9.6. So, you know, as far as an interval is concerned, we're just saying everything more than 9.6. And so, all right, well, you would add up all of these then. So if you add up all those percents, that is going to be 15%. So, normal distribution is really important. 
Uh, for the problems that we will be doing, since this is an Algebra 2 course, we've kept it simple and you're always going to be sitting, the values that you're given are always going to be sitting at a standard deviation amount. And so if you know this picture, you should be able to add up the percents to find the answers. Good luck.